Let me introduce Natasha Walker, Kat Matthews and myself. Now there's one significant difference between the three of us. One of us is a beginner, one is an amateur and one's a pro. And you might have guessed who's who, but have you worked out what we are doing here? Well, today is the first in the series of our beginner versus amateur versus pro. And what better place to start than with the first phase of a triathlon, the swim. If you watch or follow the sport of triathlon, then I expect you're gonna be impressed with the performances and the efficiency of the pros. But it's one thing looking at times on a result sheet or listening to our race report in the show. It doesn't necessarily give you that real idea of just how impressive they are. So today we plan to show you and demonstrate just the difference between a beginner and a pro using real people. Now, obviously, within triathlon, you're going to have discrepancies between the swim, the bike and the run. And some athletes will be stronger and some disciplines compared to others. It's the swim that's probably going to show up the biggest discrepancy, especially in the beginners and the age groupers. You can often see them struggling with the swim. But that doesn't mean that all pros favour the swim either. Although that said, when it comes to, say, an Ironman distance, it's normally equaled out with the bike and the run and any difference is soon compensated. But today we're obviously focusing on the swim and it's time to take a look at today's lineup. Representing the beginners, we have Natasha. She's a horse rider and multi-sport enthusiast. Her strengths are her endurance and ability to keep going. Weaknesses, confidence on the bike. Her aspirations are to complete a half Ironman triathlon. Representing the amateurs, we have Heather. She's a full-time presenter who's taken part in a variety of triathlons. Strengths, chatting. Weaknesses, easily distracted. Aspirations, a sub 10 hour Ironman and to nail the flying mount. Representing the pros, we have Kat Matthews. She's a full-time army athlete. Her strengths are her sports life balance, weaknesses, swim starts. Her aspiration is to achieve a podium at Kona. All right, we're gonna start with the swim. And well, today it is just the swim and we're gonna keep things super short. So 400 meters, AKA a super sprint triathlon because well, it's quite chilly in there. And you know, I think that's probably far enough for me to swim at the moment anyway, but we need to kind of work out how to do it. And I was really tempted to do a mass start because I was like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe for a moment I could sit on your feet, Kat. Um, but then I was like, actually, we probably should do this as sort of a more fair system. So we're gonna do it staggered. And this is where some maths is maybe gonna be involved. I'm thinking maybe setting off, obviously you, Natasha, being our beginner first, then me, then Kat. Potentially 30 second intervals, but I don't actually know what times you guys, like where you're at for 400. I mean, you're, you're fresh off the back of a <laughs> you know, strong Ironman performance. What do you reckon? Fresh off the back of a poor swim in a good oh. Ironman performance. So I think I would give myself a target of maybe five minutes 30. Oh, okay, right. Well, that's definitely quicker than me. Oh, what what, what do you do you have any idea? I mean, I really actually don't know. I know that I have quite a lot of endurance, but I've not got any of the power that you have. So I, I, well, I don't know, maybe eight to 10. Okay, um, I reckon you'll be closer to eight. Okay. I mean, should we, should we go, with, go with eight minutes? Let's go with eight. And I think yeah. I'm gonna be pretty much in the middle of you guys. I would love to say six, but that was like, I just don't do anything fast at all. And then you say you don't, but you still, you know, train for an Ironman. So I reckon if we go at 30 second intervals, that maybe will work. So if we set you off first, then me at 30 and then you 30 after that. Um, you've got a chance for warm up if you want. I'm just gonna warn you, I was swimming in a thermal wetsuit until two days ago here. So um, you might wanna bear that in mind, but any, any thoughts? Does that sound good with you guys? Sounds good. Can't look, looking forward to overtaking you guys. <laughs> and now I'm gonna see if maybe if you do come past, I'm gonna hold on to your ankles. That's my tactic. What about you? How are you Probably feeling? I prefer a minute's head start, especially with you, but um, uh, I'll, I'll like, pull it out the bag. You never know. Oh, just, just a lot of confidence here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, guys, if you want, you can go and have a warm up or yeah. a refresher, we should call it. But um, yes, yeah, so you'll start. Down, I think. <laughs> You can see the difference here in like probably the speed we're going to swim at because Natasha is dressed for the cold, Kat is just hardcore and like wearing normal. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I've just gone for a headband today. I'm like easing myself out of winter gear, but you've already had a sneaky warm up. How is it in there? 
Uh, horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so we're actually we're actually on point here. Yeah, I mean it is only four hundred, but I am going to take a leaf out of your book because I think it's sensible that we do have a little dip just to kind of acclimatise ourselves. So um, yeah, warm up time or or cool down. I don't know something like that, isn't it? <laughs> Things are getting serious. So, done the warm up, and it's not as cold as I thought. Even Natasha has taken her gloves and boots off, so I'm gonna have to do it because I think I'm gonna need all the leg kick help I can get. This is the first time of the year going barefoot. So, now that our athletes have warmed up, it is time for them to get onto the starting line. Natasha will be heading off first, then Heather and Kat will follow at 30 second intervals. But enough delay, let's get this started. Three, two, one, go! We are in the order we expected, but fast is first. You want to give us your time? I got a 5.32. Nice. Um, I was pleasantly surprised with a 5.44 and... 8.08. Whoa, and we, we, we kind of went in yeah. eight minutes, so that was awesome. The best line was Natasha finishing going, that was nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> was it nice? How was I've yours? I've still got the long burn. <laughs> I think yeah. I'm doing something wrong. So, we're going to work on our beginner, but um, do you guys enjoy that? Yeah, it's amazing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest, the, the, the main question is, are you back for the bike? Yeah. That's the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will be back for the bike. Thank you, both of you guys, for awesome effort today. Uh, I think it's time to go and get warm and have some cake or whatever it is pros do. I don't know. <laughs> I think the order of events were as expected, but what did you think of the differences between each of us? Well, let us remind you of the times and what pace they equated to. Natasha swam eight minutes, eight seconds for her 400 meters, giving her a pace of two minutes, two seconds per 100. I was a five minutes 44, equaling a 126 per 100, and Kat a 532, giving her a 123 per 100 meter pace. Now, I would expect the differences to be more exaggerated if we up the distance to the 3,800 meters of an Ironman swim as fitness, conditioning and experience will play a greater role. However, that's just one for another day, but up next, it's number two in our beginner versus amateur versus pro series. See you at the cycling.